Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday Makeup Lesson. Today I'm gonna to do my foundation routine and I asked you on Twitter yesterday whether you wanna see my high-end or my drugstore one and a lot of you guys, about 50%, wanted a drugstore one. So definitely keep an eye on Twitter, it's at Shanae Katie if you wanna vote for any other videos that I'm gonna be doing. But we're gonna jump in to our foundation routine. I've already prepped my skin with my skincare and I do have a skincare update coming up on Wednesday so make sure to check back this week for that. And it's better to treat your problematic skin whether it's very dry, large pores, very oily, whatever it might be for you it's better to treat it with your skincare rather than always relying on a primer but what this primer does by Flormar is it actually gives the makeup something to hold on to so when it glides over the skin it goes a little bit tacky and that really holds on to the makeup and it's gonna make it last a lot longer for you but not everybody needs a primer you can sometimes just get away with a really good moisturizer make sure to apply it and allow it to settle on the skin and then you can move on to your next step. Now the next step for me is correctors. What I like to do is actually apply the corrector tones on any unwanted tones on my skin. This will counteract the unwanted tones, but also help your makeup last longer and your foundation won't have to do as much work either because a lot of the work's already done with just a very thin amount of corrector. And I'm gonna use a pencil brush to apply this. So I use a mixture of the pink and the orange and I apply this underneath my eyes. Then I use the yellow on any redness that I might have on my skin. So blemishes around the nose area, particularly for women because we have hormonal redness there. I also do it on my nose because at the moment I have constant allergies. If you're not sure which corrector to use for your skin issue, then definitely check out my video. I'll link it in the description box or you can check out my book, which is the Make Your Hand Book. And I go through it in there as well. Once you've applied it to the area that needs it, go around the edges and just lightly blend it out. But you don't wanna cover the entire face in correctors because that will just defeat the purpose. Next up, I'm going to apply my foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Foundation. And I put my foundation on the back of my hand. Some people like using palettes and some people directly spray it onto the brush. However, this will get it into the deeper bristles and that's not what we want. We want to just coat the very tips of the brush, blend this out to a really thin layer. And you want to dip the brush into the product to get the tiniest layer, leave the rest on the back of your hand and then start applying it. I'm using the F20. I use it all the time. It's my favorite brush. What you can do with this to get full coverage is to literally just stamp it over your skin just like this and this will give you completely full coverage when you're going around the brow area be very careful not to apply too much product there because what will end up happening is all the makeup will just like sit in the hairs doesn't look good and when you think you've finished blending blend some more the more you blend the better finish you're gonna have so just keep going this foundation just gives me the perfect coverage. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, also buildable, it's breathable because it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. The shades go from one to 10, I'm wearing one, and it also has cool, warm, and neutral, and I have warm on my skin right now, but sometimes I wear neutral in the winter time. To brighten up underneath my eyes, I am gonna go in with a concealer. Now, I'm not a big fan of concealers from the drugstore. I think they still need a little bit of work, but at the moment, I've been using the Master Concealer by Maybelline, and I'm using the F09, which is identical to the F20, except it's small and dense, but it still has that flat top. As you guys can see, it's a little bit pink toned, whereas I'm warm yellow toned, but this is gonna work underneath my eyes to really brighten them. So I'm gonna go down the edge of the nose. This also thins your nose off because I'm using a slightly lighter shade, and then up past the eye to create a little triangle. And you can just see the very tiny difference it's made just to here. Now I wanna lock this in place. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Foundation. I'm gonna use the F06 to apply this. I've tapped a little bit of foundation into the lid, so I start in the areas where I need more coverage and then slowly work my way out and up. This is magical and I've said it so many times, but seriously, this foundation is magic. It is like the best setting powder you can imagine. By itself, it works as an amazing foundation and the shade range is the same as a liquid. So you can get a matching one or you can go darker or lighter with it. It's awesome. Most people can get away with it, but the very, very dry skin people, it tends to lift up the little flakes on your skin, which nobody likes. But what I like to do if I have areas with dry skin, because I have combinations that's dry and oily, is I use a setting spray, and I'll just spritz this over that area, and this will calm any of that dryness down. It'll take away that cakiness, and it'll give you more of an even finish. And that is how I do my foundation from the drugstore. I'll finish off with my brows and my eyes, highlighter, blush, contour, and then my lipstick next. If you'd like to request any more videos, as always, leave a comment. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for a skincare update, and I'll talk to you then.